Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with cute three of the bi-weekly contest 106 movement of robots. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. Hello from Tashkent here in Uzbekistan, my first live contest in a while. Um, first thing to notice is the mod. Please don't forget the mod. But uh, I actually do wonder if this farm will give JavaScript issues. Hopefully not, but mm, depends how you do it, I guess. Um, hmm. um, I imagine there are a couple of ways you can do this, but the way that I did it is, uh, well, let, let's go over some observations uh, real quick. The first observation is me going to bring it up to drawing board. Uh, my drawing is not going to be as good as, well, as usual. I don't know if it's good as usual um, because I'm using the touchpad here because I'm traveling. I didn't bring my drawing pad. But yeah, but basically, if you think about the robots on the number line, right? Uh, let's say you have two robots. I'm going to just draw a little box, right? Uh, and then, you know, of course, they intersect, right? So let's say this is going this way, and this is going this way. I don't even have a mouse, so this is very really, like touchy thing. Uh, so then now, uh, what happens after they collide, right? Let's say you have a box here, right? You have uh, two robots here, and this goes this way. And it, uh, this is terrible. Sorry, friends. Bear with me. Uh, this way, right? What happens? Well, what happens is that they now, after one step, they move in opposite directions, right? But, which is, you know, and it's very tough to simulate all of them because there are a lot of them, right? But the key thing to note about this one, and this comes up randomly um, in problems, or some people have seen it or seen the idea of it, which is that because the, the, the no distinction between the robots, instead of thinking about them you know, like, let me see if I can show it on screen, uh, bouncing off each other, you can also simulate them just going through each other, right? And what I mean is that instead of saying this box is equal to this box, right? You can just say this one goes to this one because they're the same. And then basically they just move one space through each other. Um, and then now you just switch identification, which you don't need to because you don't care about that, right? So that's the core part about this problem. Uh, because once you get that, once you realize that, it becomes a lot easier because the math will come back to in a second. But basically, now, instead of doing all the collusion, all you have to do after these steps is just do this thing, right? If you want to go to the left, you subtract D. If you're going to go to the right, you, you add D, and then we sort. Why do we sort? The, the sorting, and I'll bring the drawing back, is basically, um, I mean, maybe there are other ways to do this, but the way that I did it is that, okay, uh, this is going to be tough to draw because uh, I don't have my usual tools. But basically, let's say now you have a lot of boxes, right? This is the ending thing, right? Uh, okay, right. Oops. Let's say this is the ending uh, locations, positions, right? The way that I did it is that, okay, so now I, I get the sum of these two boxes, or I call it boxes, but robots, some of these two robots, and the sum of these three, uh, the third robot, right? So the three pairs. So you get some number. And then now what happens? What happens is that now to get, you know, you move, you know, this delta length between these two. And then now you have this distance, this distance, and this distance to do the math, right? But what happens? What happens is that for, for everything on these two boxes to the right of robots, right? You can think about these two robots got chopped off by this delta distance, right? So that now you you subtract. So if you get an answer uh, for the black parts, let's say you have the answer T, then now you have some T minus two times the delta, right? Two D, say, right? Uh, as I said, I'm drawing with terrible like, with my fingers. But then now, Or three D really right, the way that we did it, um, because oh wait no 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 two D sorry, yeah. Well, it depends how you want to say it. It's actually minus three. Uh, oops, uh, it's minus three D because if you think about it, you you could also say the same for this one right. So then now three three things shifts to the right. And then sub, so you subtract 3D. But then now you add in one more, one new thing, which is that previously, um, 
So you have to add this distance. Uh, to, so you have to add this distance back because now this is this is the distance that got created from the stuff on the left, right? So that's basically the idea. So that now you add back a d, and then now this is your new t, right? So like t sub two, say, or t sub one, maybe. And then you do the same as you kind of slide line from left to right and keeping track of how many things are on the left, how many things are on the right. And that's basically the idea behind this algorithm. Uh, do I, yeah. So after we saw it, we set the, the current as the sum of the first, uh, sum of the distances. And then as we move from left to right, as we said, we, we calculate the delta, which is the space in between the, the spacing. And then we add it by uh, the stuff that's to the left, because to the left, you're moving from left to right, so everything to the left, it got farther away, and then you subtract stuff from the right because, well, now everything got closer by that many steps. And then at the end, you add it to total, and because now we did all pairs, and maybe you could have done stuff that just cares about the parts to the right, but this is the way that I did it. You could do a total divided by two and then mine it afterwards. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. This is going to be end log n because of the sorting. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think. And you can watch me yourself live during the contest now. That one could have also been easily wrong, honestly. Where you usually make mistakes. Mod, 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 mod. Mod, 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 Sum of what? What is T again? What is S and what's T? T sec D is the command. What is S? S is the string, okay. And nums is okay, so On left. And then, uh, okay. Uh, at this part, I'm, I feel like people are actually very good at, but I'm not, not that good at the total part.
someone like this, but maybe it's not quite right. Yeah, it's not quite right. Let's double check this for a sec. Actually, very fortunate to have a wrong answer here, but because that means that we get to check. The logic is right, but I'm off by one. Uh, I think the top people already have this done for that reason. I, like I know how to do this. It's just I'm slow for that reason. Six, especially since um, I don't even have a mouse and my debugging is slow. Okay, so that's six. That's two plus four is six. So then two. So then this should. So two, so this is minus two, which is true. Um, minus two and then plus two, right? No, it's two. No, 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 this is two, four, so it should be four. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Yeah, it's just plus one. Oh, minus one matter. I don't want to. I, have to, I should be better proving this though. So I don't want to just off by one and you know, hopefully that it is right. Two and then four is six. Okay. And I think this is it, except for I have to divide by two because. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that's tough because I do the mod here. What is the answer again? 2 times 10 to 9. I guess it's just 10 times square, so I think this is fine. But it is tough to prove. Uh, I mean, it's not that tough. It's just that it, it's tough to do it in like 20 seconds or whatever. Say. Okay. Uh, Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let me know what you think about this prom, the explanation, this contest, whatever you feel like talking about. Uh, yeah. Uh, goodbye from uh, Tashen. Uh, Tashken. Uh, hit, I'll see you later. Stay care. Uh, stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.